Staying organized as an entrepreneur, it's a very important thing to do. You want to be able to work as fast and efficiently as possible and reduce the clutter to have a clean working environment. The last thing you want to do as an entrepreneur is look for your files all over your computer, opening different folders that are not properly named and going over different cloud services, looking for a particular file. It just becomes a mess and you waste a lot of time looking for stuff. And that used to be me. It was a mess. I had to look everywhere for like different files and whatnot. And what I ended up doing was taking a minimalistic approach to organizing my business life. For some of you guys, this might not work. And by some of you guys, I mean usually just videographers or people who deal with large files. But for the rest of you, you should be fine. As long as you're not dealing with uh, hundreds of gigabytes worth of files, uh, you should be totally fine. All right, guys, quick little side note. I want to try something new. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below with whatever inspires you to do better or any inspirational quotes. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a winner to have a 30 minutes conference call that could be over Skype or just emailing directly for 30 minutes. Uh, and I'll be able to help you guys with dropshipping or anything you guys need help that's business related. So all you have to do is just leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe. So first off, if you guys want to keep things clutter free, you have to be willing to get rid of things that you don't need. You have to be willing to get rid of files and services that you're not using, like get rid of uh, old files that you used like years ago and uh, no longer need them or old school files for those of you who are still in school. So let's just say if you're in college and you had files back from high school, you want to get rid of those. Uh, the same thing for those of you guys who have a lot of different web services or cloud services, like for those of you who have Google Drive and iCloud and uh, Dropbox and whatnot, you want to get rid of any that you're not using and or if you guys are using all three of them just focus on the one that benefits you the most and stick with that one so personally i use icloud just because it works for me and uh, for those of you who don't have an iphone or who are not into the apple ecosystem you guys could benefit from having google personally i pay for the 50 gigabyte icloud storage it just makes it a lot easier for me honestly i'm able to have everything there for like 99 cents that's totally fine it's not a deal breaker or anything like that uh, so i pay the 99 cents so as you guys see, I don't really use all of it. I don't use all the 50 gigabytes, so that's fine for me. Now, if you guys have more files and you guys might want to upgrade, for me, I don't. I don't need it. If I were to get close to that 50 gigabyte threshold, then obviously I'll upgrade to the next plan, but don't feel like you need to pay for the most expensive stuff. Some of you guys might be fine with the free version uh, and others are not. For example, I wasn't. So just stick or find uh, the plan that works best for you. And on this cloud service, I basically store all my uh, business files. So the more important ones, the one I want to access or I want to have access from anywhere in the world. Uh, I also store my pictures because I have an iPhone. So whenever I take pictures, it goes here on the drive. And I also back my, all of my images up into uh, Google Photos. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Google Photos, you guys should give it a try. Even if you have the Apple ecosystem and don't use Google, I would still recommend you guys give uh, Google Photos a try. You're able to store unlimited photos for basically nothing for free. Now, the quality is going to go down a little bit, but it's a great backup. Uh, if you guys don't have any type of uh, place any hard drive or anything like that where you guys back up your pictures trust me google drive you guys i mean google drive google photos you guys are going to want to use it you get free unlimited storage and the way you do that is you want to head over to your google account and then from the app settings you want to go ahead and select more look for photos or just search for the photo icon click on it should bring you up here and then you want to click on this little tab over here on the left hand side go down to settings and then make sure you select high quality free unlimited storage so basically you're going to be able to store an unlimited amount of photos the quality is going to go down a bit but um you should be fine or you should be able to back up everything now if you guys want the highest quality then obviously you guys are going to have to either pay for it or you only get a certain amount of storage now the reason i do this is because these pictures that i store on here uh, i don't post them anywhere they're just pictures of families and, and whatnot families <laughs> they're just pictures of family and uh, i don't really need a super high quality image so i'm totally fine with this now since we're here here, let me go ahead and show you the files that I like keeping on my drive. So if we go over here to iCloud Drive, you're going to be able to see the files that I personally keep or that I want to have access to from anywhere. So first of all, we have, let's see, the business folder. This is where I basically store anything that's related to any of my businesses. So the Amazon FBA, I have any apps, any apps. I have all the, um, the things that I use on here from images for my products, the ones that I take. And I have screenshots of products that I find interesting and that I might want to try out. And then the product descriptions in here, I basically have the, the note or the file with all of my product descriptions, just in case I need to edit something or in case my listing goes down or anything like that. I just like backing all that up. So then let's go back to the main folder. Then 
defaults. So in here I have the main files that I use or pictures that I want to use for like my thumbnails or for any of my social medias or whatnot. I basically store them here so I can have quick access to them. So these are like my stock images basically. Then on my desktop, I don't really have anything there. Documents, same thing, main files. This is basically same as default. The only thing is that I added a couple more pictures. So it's basically a redundant folder. It's the same thing. And that's basically what I keep on here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys before I forget. Let's go back to these folders. So on courses, this is where I store anything related to my course, like any files that I have. This would be the template for customer support. So for those of you who have the advanced dropshipping kit, you guys are familiar with this. Then here is a, a list of all the links for what I tell you guys or all the websites that I tell you guys to visit or to uh, work from. Then Shopify beginners kit. This is the PDF of the uh, book. By the way, if you guys want it, I uh, just go ahead, check down the description below and you guys can go ahead and download it. Then let's go back to my uh, dropshipping folder. This is the main folder. This is basically where I make all my living from. So this is the folder that I use for organizing my dropshipping businesses. So here I have ad examples. Uh, so anything that I find interesting, any ad that I feel like I might want to try out, I have it here. By the way, guys, I'm thinking of doing something a little bit different. I'm thinking of um, going ahead and making a like folder on Google and then have you guys, you know, access it and whatnot. So you guys could see an example of good looking ads and you guys could go ahead and replicate them. Then on the next folder, we have potential niches. These are niches that I might want to try out or screenshots of certain products in a certain niche that I find interesting. Then stats. Uh, this is basically where I store all my stats for uh, all my stores. So basically what I have one of my employees do is I have them write down all the information. So how much we spend on ads for that store and how much sales we got and uh, how much product did we sell or how much of a certain product that we sell. Then I get all that information. I put it into my own uh, spreadsheet and the file that they sent me. I just put it on here just to store it just for safekeeping. Then on the first store, uh, this is where I have any images, product images, banners, ads, or anything for the first store. So I separate them into three stores. Uh, obviously, this is not this is not how I have them name. I have them name according to their store name, but I don't want to give that away. So just know that in these folders, I basically have all the stock images. I have um, images of the products. I have the banners, the headers for my websites and my ads and also any images for social media and whatnot. So all that is stored on these folders. So that's basically everything for the iCloud drive. Uh, this is how I store everything whenever I'm, you know, I'm not near my computer or I just want to access something pretty quickly. So I suggest you guys go ahead and try to find a drive that works for you and use it to store all your main information. Now let's go ahead and talk about the computer. Uh, now in my computer, I like to keep things very, very simple. I only like to keep two folders on my desktop and that is basically the project folder, which I store anything related to a current project I'm working on. Uh, so that's basically for like my video files. So whenever I'm working on a YouTube video, I store it inside the project folder or like any, you know, sticker, not stickers, uh, any PNG files, any images or anything like that, or music or anything that relates to my current project. I store it in there so I can just access everything from that folder and I know where to look. And then my video files, this is where I have my stock footage, my intro, my outro, uh, all my images, my sound effects and whatnot. Uh, also my background music, everything is stored on their video files. Now these two folders, they're not backed up in the drive. Some of you guys are probably wondering that. And the reason I don't store them there is because I never really need to access them. I don't use my Mac for editing. It's just too slow and I don't like it. Uh, I like having the ability to see everything and have these two monitors to work on videos. So I just work whenever I'm, I have access to my desktop. And again, they're really big files. They're really big folders because I have 4K video and whatnot. It just takes forever to store on the drive and it takes up unnecessary space because again, I don't use my laptop to edit videos from. So that's why my desktop only has two folders. Now, if you guys have a mess and have files everywhere, what I suggest you guys do is just make a new folder, call it extras. That's what I did. And I just grab all the images that I'm not sure or every file that I'm not sure if I want to get rid of that I might use or I'm kind of like iffy about. I go ahead, put it on a folder called extras. And then I also have a hard drive, an external hard drive that I use as like my backup. So apart from storing my all my images and all that stuff on the uh, Google Photos, I also store them on here or any larger files. I store them on my drive and I basically store this folder that says, you know, extras. I store it on here uh, just because I, I'm not sure if I might need these or might not. So just to be safe, I group them all into one folder and just put them on the side. And if I ever do need them, they're going to be there. And if I don't need them, I just put them there and they're not cluttering my desktop because, you know, I don't need to use them at the current moment. So I just put them to the side. So I recommend you guys getting a hard drive to store some files just to keep things organized or to be able to store bigger files if you guys don't want to have 
have uh, these big files on your main hard drive on your computer and you want to free up some space on there just throw everything into a drive i have a three terabyte hard drive you guys could get a two terabytes for like sixty dollars so they're not that expensive and they're worth it because you know you're able to store a lot more information than you normally would on like an ssd and then if i ever need to transfer any files between like computers even though it's rare uh, but if i need to transfer a really big file and whatnot i have a uh, usb stick that goes from usb 3 to usb c and that's a 32 gigabyte uh, that's more than enough i'm never really transferring any file that's bigger than 32 gigabytes so that's what i use to transfer files between computers just in case you know i don't want to upload something to the drive and then wait for it to download uh, i just go ahead and plug in the hard drive or the uh, usb stick and just transfer information so that's pretty much how i manage my workflow from computer to computer and how i organize my computer so another reason why i mentioned that it's very important to choose the correct cloud service is because uh, depending on what you guys have could be android or it could be you know apple you're able to sync everything together and in my case i have icloud so what i do is i basically use my reminders app to uh, store any reminders of anything that i might have and that appears on my desktop it appears on my laptop it appears on my phone my watch everything so it just makes things very very simple for me so here on reminders i basically have you know any reminder that i want to be reminded by by a certain time schedules is basically the same thing youtube here i have a list of youtube videos i want to work on and then work these are certain things i have to do and they don't have to be done by a certain time and the good thing is or the beautiful thing about having this icloud and this is why i chose it it's because if i edit something or i complete something it does it on all my devices and i don't have to worry about you know setting reminders for each device so it's very important to choose the correct cloud services for you so try to choose something that's cross-platform and that you're going to be able to be uh, notified on all your devices so another application that i use is the notes app and here i'm able to start typing a like script for a video or anything particular for our business or anything like that or any idea that i have i can start typing it on my phone continue it on my desktop or continue it on my mac or my ipad so it comes in real real handy uh, so it's a very important for you guys to choose something that works on all type of platforms so you guys could edit and work from anywhere and you guys are not uh, bound by a specific device like you guys need the specific device to work from the reason i like icloud drive is just because if i don't have a iphone i could still access my stuff i just have to go on the web and i'm there and i basically have access to everything so that's pretty much it guys that's how i stay organized it's very simple hopefully uh, this made sense and hopefully i didn't lose any of you guys but remember that it's very important to choose the right uh, cloud ecosystem it's a major part since this allows you to access everything from anywhere and it's better to stick with one instead of trying to use icloud and then dropbox and whatnot so just stick with whatever works for you if that is icloud go ahead and stick with it commit all the way if it's google drive commit all the way don't try to like just jump between them because you're gonna end up like losing a lot of files or just spending too much time looking for files keep in mind that uh, my way of organizing might not work for you and that's totally fine uh, there might be some things that you're like oh you know i didn't know that oh i'm gonna give that a try go ahead and implement that into the way you organize things uh, you don't have to follow me exactly just do whatever you find useful for you and just start building upon that and that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one